when the narcissist realizes life sucks without you. When they realize that life is not going to be the same anymore now that you are gone. Think about something you really need in your life. Think about something you use every day. Whether it's your phone or computer, your refrigerator, your car. Imagine what your life would be without it. Imagine how inconvenient it would be. Imagine the trouble, difficulties or discomfort you would experience from no longer having those things in your life. That is how the narcissist feels when you are no longer around. That is how they feel when they realize that life sucks without you. When they were with you, they took you for granted. They expected you to always be there for them, regardless of how they treated you. But when you start to slip away, that is when they begin to realize how much they need you. It's like when a household appliance you use every day suddenly breaks down or no longer works the way that it used to. You might begin to panic. You might be afraid that you're not going to be able to wash your clothes or cook dinner. And that is how the narcissist feels when you stop responding to them in the way that you used to. They feel as though their pet is escaping. They are losing their slave. That person who is supposed to be there and do everything for them. Provide them with emotional support. Give them money, sex or whatever else they might need from you. When you're no longer working in the way that they used to, in the way that they expect from you, they begin to panic. They begin to experience sudden, uncontrollable fear and anxiety about how they are going to get their needs met how they are going to get their supply. It can be a very uncomfortable experience for the narcissist. And they may act in ways that you have never seen before. When their supply is on the line, there's often nothing they won't do to retrieve it. Imagine you wake up one morning and then your car breaks down. You may begin to panic you may experience fear and anxiety about how you are going to get through your day. But you will still have hope that you can fix it. Or that you can get someone to make it work in the way that it used to. So that it can provide you with the same service as it did before. You still believe that maybe it can come back. It can be there for you again.
But when you know that car is really gone for good, that is when reality begins to sink in. And you know that you're going to struggle without that car. It's the same thing with a narcissist. That's what they experience when they know that you're not coming back. When they realize that life sucks without you. They know that you're no longer going to be there to provide them with emotional support, money, sex, or whatever else they may need. And they know it's not going to be the same with anyone else. But anything is better than nothing. So they will settle for whatever they can find. Even if it's not as good as you were to them. It's still a car. It still gets them to where they need to go. Even if it's not as comfortable or secure as the one they had before. When the narcissist realizes life sucks without you. They might try to come back. They might try to hoover you. But that only works if you're still in the same situation as you were before. If you haven't healed or moved on. If you have managed to climb out of the hole that they left you in and build a life for yourself, it's going to be very difficult for them to get you back. And they know this. So in most cases, they will stay hidden. They won't bother trying to contact you but they will be watching you from afar. And this could be a very painful and distressing experience for the narcissist. Especially if you are doing well for yourself. If they have to watch you live in the life that you always desired, but could never build while they were around, but then you move on and do better without them, and you managed to achieve everything that you wanted. That's what really makes the narcissist realize just how much their life sucks without you. When they have to look at your life and then look at their own. When they compare what you have to what they have. And believe me, they are doing this. A very common trait of a narcissist is that they always have to compare themselves to other people. They always have to see what everyone else has or what they are doing. And whether they hear it from a friend or they see it on your social media, when they see that you're doing good, when they see that you're moving on and you've got what you wanted. Whether it's a new job, more money, a car, new experiences, a new relationship partner. When they see this stuff, it's killing them inside.
It's destroying their fragile little hearts. It's burning them from the inside out. It's like they just discovered what was behind door number two. Everything that they missed out on. Everything that they could have been a part of. But they picked door number one. And it is the most soul crushing, demeaning experience they will ever have to go through in their entire lives. But go through it they will. Because of their envy and jealousy and their obsessive need to keep checking in on you. Which ultimately destroys them in the end. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.